It's a bad scene for a lot of the kids up here, eh? What's being done? The world needs to hear this story. This story is The Grizzlies, a new Canadian drama that sheds light on an issue that we don't often address, and one that has haunted Indigenous communities, suicide. If you or someone you know needs help, there will be a number on the bottom of your screen. The Grizzlies tells the true tale of the determination and resilience of a group of Inuit youth in a small Arctic community with one of the highest suicide rates in North America. Another night out in the call, I the they form a lacrosse team called the Grizzlies with the help of a new teacher. These kids really need an outlet to get involved in something besides this damn night culture. Ultimately creating a sense of pride and purpose in themselves and their community in spite of immense pressure and hardship. Are you with me? The film's breakout stars say the story resonates as strongly now as ever. It hits home a lot because uh, our suicide rates are just crazy, and uh, it's not it's not really slowing down. You know, as much as much attention as we're getting with our um, suicide prevention and whatnot, there's really nothing that's helping because people are just like hashtagging, like, oh, if you if you ever need help, this is my number. Talk to me. Like, yeah. But. They won't reach out. They don't want to reach out. They, they want people to come to them, you know, and there's yeah. just writing a Facebook status isn't suddenly going to change the way people think about their lives mm -hmm. and each other's friends. And Like, we need more resources. So parents, grandparents, uh, government, mostly government, you know, they just really got to step up because they've been standing back for way too long. Instead of drinking or fighting, we are proud. The Grizzlies is directed by Miranda de Pontier, who made the film in close collaboration with Indigenous producers. The issues in the film is something that we all face up there and, and live with um, still today, so it's just relevant. And um, as an Indigenous filmmaker, I often get approached to make films on this on the subject of uh, suicide and the, the hard that that happen up there and I'm never really interested in doing that because most people approach it in a really uncreative way and like I don't have a relationship with them you have to have trust with the people you're working with when the issue is so serious like this and Miranda just came up in a way that was really open and looking for help she recognized immediately that uh, She's ne never lived in the north and doesn't know these things firsthand and that she needed partners to be heavily involved uh, that are from the community. So that just made all the difference. The scene that I love the most in the film, I'm going to start crying right now. <laughs> just, you know, working on this film for so long and getting to know the real kids, but also the actors uh, portraying the real kids. Everyone in that community is touched by suicide. And there's a scene where all the kids close their eyes and they point and try to feel where the other is. And what I love about that scene is that it really represents the idea of community and people coming together, no matter what they're looking at or how they're seeing the world, we're connected on another level. Are we ready? The Grizzlies hits theaters Friday. For City News, I'm Terry Hart.